I'm Jorge Ribas, and you're wondering. So back in the day, you turn on the TV, and it pretty much looked like this. Fast forward a couple decades, and everything's in color. Then came remote controls and cable. And now you can watch your favorite shows in high definition, record them with DVRs, record them with DVRs, and watch them on everything from your laptops to your mobile phones. So what's next? Well, according to some researchers, 3D holographic television. What you're looking at is one of the first updatable 3D holographic displays. What we were able to show, which was basically for the first time, that uh, you have a material, you have a medium, that you can display three-dimensionally objects and then you can erase them and put another object on it. And while it might not look too impressive, it represents a crucial step in overcoming the biggest obstacle to 3D holographic TV, creating a rewritable and erasable system with memory. The medium he's built, a 6 by 6 inch screen, can update in a matter of minutes. While holographic TV would need to be rewritten and updated multiple times per second, this technology could make watching a baseball game from different angles a reality. And it differs from the 3D you're used to seeing in movie theaters. They show 3D, but only looking at two perspectives of it. So one eye sees what's called one polarization, the other sees the other called polarization. Basically tricking your brain into blending the two perspectives into a seamless, moving 3D image. But in true 3D holographic display, you'd have a different view of an object than that of your buddy sitting right next to you. In a photographic image, essentially what you're doing is you're looking through a pinhole. So what you basically do is you see one view of an object. And a hologram is like looking through a window. Uh, in a window, you can move your head from side to side. And because you can move your head from side to side, you can essentially look at the scene from different points of view. And that's called motion parallax, and it's a feature Hungarian firm Holographica says its 3D TVs contain. And while not a purely holographic system, the company says its Holovisio displays are based on holographical geometrical principles. Plus, the goofy glasses aren't necessary. Pagan Barian sees this technology being used in everything from surgery to military training to entertainment. And according to him, we could see this technology in our homes in the next decade. Still, you're probably not going to receive a Princess Leia-like transmission anytime soon or find yourself fully immersed in Star Trek's holodeck. You're going to have to probably insert a socket into somebody's brain and plug them into something for them to get that real, full immersion-type feeling. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas.